up next, moms moving in. Melissa's freaking out. Joe and Melissa Rippers tell us about their new living arrangement. Come on back. They have done the red carpet. They have done the documentary. Now they are setting up house. Legendary comedian Joan Rivers is moving in with her daughter, Melissa. You can watch the sparks fly on their new WeTV reality show. Joan and Melissa, Joan Knows Best. <laughs> They're here this morning to tell us about it. So we heard Robin say you were freaking out. Is that true? Wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, yes, if, if, if your mother-in-law moved in with you. My mo mm, that would be... Actually, I get along with my mother-in-law. Okay, but how, your, how, how about Ale <laughs> Alexandra? How would she handle it? We would find out. Yes, you would. There, there you go. But how did this happen? What made you think about this? Uh, I was working in California, and it was the first time we really were together in 20 years, any length of time. And I suddenly realized I'm missing my grandson growing up, and Melissa said it's nice to have a family. Like it felt normal, it wasn't that pressure cooker when you have a relative where your well, parents... Well, that's before so the cameras come in. Yeah. <laughs> then we they, moved in. you feel like you have to do something with them, like it actually kind of felt normal, which... And then we moved in, and already you suddenly realize the guest room sucks. You know, it's <laughs> like, it's so tiny, and it's below ground. It's not meant to be a residence, I mean, it's a guest room, you know? You know it, but also... It, 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 you had to put a canary when you walk in there to make sure <laughs> I met the Chile and the miners. It's not that bad. Oh, it's, not gonna, it's a great guest room when you're a guest. When you're a guest. Yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to stay more than threes, but we really thought that my mother would find a house much more quickly than she did. Than she but has. We actually have a clip from the show where you first told your friends and my neighbors friends. about this. I have rented my house out for five years, and I am going to move to. California. It's, it's, a just joke. it's not a joke, and it's just time. I just think she's making the biggest mistake she's ever embarked on. Where are you actually going to live? I'm going to move in <laughs> with Melissa. <laughs> So I guess they couldn't talk you out of it. But we're very close. We're almost like mother and yeah. daughter. I thought it would work out. I thought it would work out. It, it's, 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 a, it's a funny bloodbath. And I guess this shouldn't have been a shocker, but one of the first things Joan does when she moves to L.A. is start to look for a plastic surgeon. There's a shocker. <laughs> um, no, it, it's, 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 the thing about our show is it's, it's, it's a very interesting dynamic because I think I'm an adult. I have my own house, my own life, my son, and... The, you know, the balance of power has shifted. Now my, I'm not living at my mom's. My mother has now come and has to live so, by my rules. What's it been like for Cooper, your 10-year-old son? Oh, he's loved it. He has learned to work the system, a little angel. <laughs> yeah, he's and costing he you a, a fortune. Jar. Jar. <laughs> yeah, he has a swear jar, so he is so rich now. You so know, what, every just, time you swear? Oh, because I don't stop. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, go, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, he's all about the money. Yeah, he, by Christmas, he had $168. Oh, well, not bad. And I do it in pennies. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> so I figured he'd be coming he go he had to contribute to everybody's Christmas so gifts. you guys aren't doing the red carpet show anymore do you miss it no not at, no. we do fashion police she produces I mean, right, of course, yeah. fashion police my mom and hosts it the weekly day after yes so that's because you can say what you think plus our weekly fashion police which is great too but um you can't say to somebody's face no you look like an ass you know you can't do that <laughs> but I try to make that my practice you do it to me on the show well, to you I do it to me on the week show but the next day you can right. when they're not there but also, you know, we really sort of broke ground on that live program from the red carpet. As you know, you have hosted some of those before. Yeah. It's not an easy gig. No. Because um, they're stupid most Yeah. <laughs> and at one point, you go, I've asked the questions. Right, you've done it. You've done it. Everyone's doing what we've done. And I always say, you know, leave all the parties good. Now that brings us to one of our first audience questions. Why don't you go ahead? Hi, Melissa. Hi, Joan. Our name is Vanessa and Toya from Detroit Fashion Team in Michigan. Our question is... Have you ever received an angry call from a celebrity for your comments on the fashion police? Yes. <laughs> um, we've been also accused of saying a lot of things that we never actually said. But, you know, you just had those uncomfortable well, you got to tell us who now. <laughs> uh, well, we, we've gotten, uh, what's her name, Kathy Bates. Because I said if she hadn't been on the Titanic, it wouldn't have sunk. Ooh. And she... <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> and she got I can upset. hear the phone ringing she, again. She, she waddled over to me and said, that's me. <laughs> oh, 
She should have a uh, sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them laugh Most about of, it. You know, usually when people are making $20 million a picture, they really don't care what we think of one dress they wear for one evening. Oh. It's yeah, usually not that high it. on their priority list. But remember that time uh, Julia Roberts came up and said, say it to my face. Yeah. You know, and, and you love them for that. And the bigger they are, the better sense of humor they have about Almost it. Always, Almost always. Exactly always. right. Joanne Rinaldi? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Um, my question is for both of you. Um, Melissa, if there's, is there one item of clothing of your mother's that you would love to throw out? And <laughs> is there one item of Melissa's that you would love to throw out? You go first. Uh, oh, I would just like to throw out all of Melissa's <laughs> wardrobe. Because uh, she has a sexy, fabulous body, which we, they, in the show, they wanted to pose nude, and she says no. And I just go insane with this. Wait, you wanted to do it? Yeah, of course. While well, you're beautiful and young. No, do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best, best birth control there is. But, uh, uh, so I would just like her to get a very hot wardrobe. Yeah. Okay, and? Oh, gosh. I uh, would. I, I would. I think I would like to add something that isn't, look, that doesn't, doesn't look like a big black sweater. Okay. Because you know we went like we went to flag football with my son the other weekend, <laughs> and we're having this heat wave in Los Angeles, and my mother is in full black Valentino sweater, over sweater, black pants, black heels. But at this at, age, at football, you know, it's a little. But my friends die, and I like to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Always ready. That is all we have time for this morning, Melissa and Joan. Thank you very much. Joan and Melissa, Joan Knows Best premieres on WeTV January 25th.